Hello viewer, a very warm welcome to Elimu TV where you watch and learn. I'm your teacher, Madam Chrissy Nokot. I'll be taking you through biology from one. For all your feedbacks, questions, or if you'd like to answer any questions at the end of this lesson, you can SMS us on the number 4007. You can write to us on our Facebook page, which is Elimu TV. You can also write to us at our Twitter handle, which is at elimu underscore .ke. And our first lesson will be under Introduction to Biology from 1. So this is what you're going to learn in our lesson. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, do an introduction to biology, uh, define biology, then you're going to look at the branches of biology, then at the end of this lesson uh, I'm going to give you an assignment that you're going to review at the onset of the next lesson. So uh, what is biology? Biology comes from a Greek word, so we're going to subdivide this word into two. We have the word bios and we have the word logos. Bios means life in Greek and logos means to study. So if you combine these two words and define biology, you will say that biology is the study of living things. We can also define biology by saying biology is the study of plants and animals, the environment and in the interaction of uh, living things in the environment. So basically, uh, most of the words in science were mostly named using the uh, ancient languages which were Greek and uh, Latin. So we have the word bios and logos. So just uh, to summarize biology, it means the study of life. So in biology, the main things that we study, uh, because you can also define biology as the study of plants and animals, so we study about plants. What do we study in, uh, about plants? We study the way the plants reproduce, how they survive in the environment, the habitats in which they live in, and such kind of things we learn about them in biology. So it is plants, then we also study about animals. And animals, are, it's a very large topic. We have different types of animals. We have the aquatic, they, st uh, they stay in different environments. So we study how do these animals reproduce? How do they survive in this environment? What are some of the things that make them to outstand in uh, the environments in which they live in? We study about the ancient uh, animals like the dinosaurs which lived in the earth so many years ago. Uh, so we're going to go to the branches of biology. There are so many, but we're just going to look at a few of them. So biology is subdivided into the two main basic ones are, one is botany. Uh, this is basically just the study of plants. We have a very a broad variety of plants. So we study how these plants, uh, they, uh, they, they reproduce. We study how these uh, plants, they survive uh, in the environment. We study about how other human beings or like how other organisms can take in these plants. We study about things like photosynthesis. What are some of the things that the plants need so that they can undergo this process of photosynthesis? We also study about respiration and other systems in plants that help these plants to survive in the environment. Then the second branch of biology, we said it's subdivided into uh, botany and zoology. So zoology is the study of animals. So we have, as we have said earlier, we have very many different types of animals. So uh, we study how these plants uh, inter interact within themselves and within other habitats. Then the next branch of biology we have entomology. This is just basically the study of insects. We have very many types of insects. We study why are this type of uh, organism called insect? What are some of the characteristics that these are uh, organisms possess so that they can be called insect? Uh, just to name a few, we know that insects they have uh, three body parts. 
uh, most of them they have wings and they have th uh, three pairs of legs. So there are some of the things that make them to be called as insects. How are they useful to human beings? How are they harmful? What are some of the things that we can do so that this insect, we can uh, bring down the effect, the bad effect that these insects bring? For example, the mosquito, they bring about uh, malaria. How can we prevent the spread of malaria? Or how can we minimize how this spread uh, increases? So all this we study under the insects, which is called entomology, the branch of biology. Then the next branch of biology is what we call virology. This is basically the study of viruses. Uh, viruses within organisms which are both plants and animals, what are some of the effects? Like the most commonly known virus which is affecting uh, our society is HIV. So we study how does this HIV spread, what are some of the things that we can do to curb the spread of HIV. So such kind of things are studied under virology. Then the next, we move to the next branch of biology. Anat anatomy. So anatomy is the study of internal structures of organism. So in human beings there are very many structures, uh, uh, internal structures. For example, we have the lungs, we have the spleen, we have the stomach, we have the kidneys. What are some of the things um, that uh, are involved? What are some of the things that these organisms help in human beings. For example, what is the function of stomach? It's uh, for storage of food. So after storage of food, what else are, what are some of the things that a stomach uh, does? Or what are some of the functions of the kidney? We know the kidney helps in the process of uh, excretion. So uh, all these structures help us to understand how we can uh, help so that we do not affect these organs and uh, some of the things that might harm uh, the, the, the organs, for example, the liver. For example, if the too much intake of smoke will affect the liver. So you have to regulate uh, some of the substances you, ta you take in or you have to regulate so that they do not cause any harm to any organism. Then the next branch of biology is genetics, a very interesting topic. So what is genetics? Genetics is basically the study of how characters are passed from parents to offspring. There are some characters that maybe a child has, then it's being a parent has, then it's being passed down to parents. For example, if a father or a mother has brown eyes, one of the children are likely to have the kind of brown eyes. So what brings about this uh, uh, transmission of, character, of characters? So this one is mainly studied in a branch of uh, biology which we call the genetics. Then the next branch of biology is embryology. So this is basically the study of embryos and their development. So we study about how these embryos are formed from the first stages up to the last stages. For example, in human beings, the process of fertilization, we study how uh, when the sperms and the egg cell from that process of which they are being fertilized until the growth of that uh, features, fetal, until to the stage that it is developed. So you study of some of the things that can harm the embryo's development. Uh, such kind of things are what we study in this branch of biology we call the embryology. Then the next branch of biology we call microbiology. So microbiology is basically the study of microbes. So what are these microbes? Microbes are the tiny organisms that, we, that are found in our environment. We cannot see them using our eyes, but we can, st uh, we can see them using the microscope. So example of these microbes are the bacteria, we have the viruses and we have the fungi. So we study at about what are some of the important things that uh, this microbe do. There are some microbes that uh, cause harm, for example diseases. There are some diseases that are caused by bacterial infection. For example, like the cholera, it is caused by a bacteria called the Vibrio cholerae. 
Mm. Then there are some important things that these microbes also do. There are some beneficial things that this microbe do to our body. So we study about the benefits and the, the things that this uh, bacteria may do to harm our body. So all this we study under this branch of biology we call microbiology. The next branch of biology is biochemistry. So this is basically the study of chemical processes occurring in living matters. So most of the organisms, or let's say the food that we're taking, is basically made of uh, chemical components. For example, if you take a carbohydrate, it's made of three elements, so which we have uh, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So what are some of these, th uh, what, of, what do these chemical elements do in our body? So we have to know the structure of whatever we eat or whatever we take in, in our body. So all this we study under this branch of biology we call the biochemistry. The next branch of biology is ecology. So ecology is the study of the interactions of uh, interrelationships of organisms with their environment and each other. So in ecology, we study about uh, our, how to conserve the natural resources that we have, uh, things like how, not to, how to preserve our environment, for example, not cutting down trees, because we all know the effect of cutting down trees. And uh, we also study of how can you recycle the, some of the things that are in our environment so that we do not destroy our environment. We also study about the uh, different habitats that we have in our environment. How do these uh, organisms study in various uh, habitats? What are some of the things that we should do so that we do not destroy the habitats. For example, in an, eco an aquatic ecosystem, that is where uh, plants or animals live in a, a large water body. Mm. So uh, there are some of the things that we can help so that we do not destroy the lives of these organisms. For example, we do not decompose chemical uh, uh, items or components in these uh, bodies because they are going to kill the rate of uh, we're going to kill the rate of organisms which are in the aquatic environment. So we study all these things under the branch of biology we call ecology. Then the next branch of biology is histology. So this is basically the study of tissues in an organ. Uh, a tissue is an, uh, a group of a tissue is made by a group of cells which gather together to form a specific a specific function in the organism. So we have different types of tissues in the body. For example, we have the muscle tissue, we have the connective tissue, we have the neuron tissue and epithelial tissue. All these have different function in the, in the body. So we study how these tissues uh, have an impact or the function of these tissues in various bodies. And it's not only in plants, in animals, but also in plants, because also plants have tissues. They are living things, they are made up of cell, and remember that a cell is the basic unit of life. So from cell you get a tissue, so from tissue you get an organ, an organ system, then an organism. So plants are also inclusive, they also have tissues in them. The next branch of biology is taxonomy. This is the study of classification of plants and animals. We study how we classify uh, these plants and animals. They fall in different categories. Uh, so like uh, in our illustration here, there are various ways in which you can classify organism. So that is a hierarchy. Uh, from, it comes from, it, it is uh, classified from ascending the biggest to the smallest. So the biggest uh, classification group is the kingdom. Then you go to phylum, you go to class, order, family, genus, then species. For example, here we have an organism, uh, Panthera pardus, that is the scientific name. So the biggest kingdom of this organism is the, the animalia. So it belongs to kingdom animalia. You go down to the phylum, it's Codata. The class is Mammalia because it's a mammal. Then you go down, the order is Carnivora. You go down to family, it's Felidae. 
genus is Panthera, then species, the specific species is called Panthera pardus. So this branch of uh, biology help us to classify organisms according to their classes. The next branch of biology is bacteriology. This is just the study of bacteria. Uh, so we study how these bacteria, some of these bacteria are very useful, some of them are cause, uh, they cause harm, for example, they cause diseases. So we study how this plant, what are some of the things that we can do so that this bacteria can be so useful, uh, ad, like, uh, but not uh, being so harmful to the human beings. So for example, there are some usefulness of bacteria, like uh, it's used to, in, in making the sour milk, Mm. So these are some of the things that we study in bacteriology. Then the next branch of biology is mycology. This is the study of fungi. So as we say, uh, in each group of uh, biology that we study, in each branch, there are some, there is a good side and the bad side of it. For example, here fungi, this mushroom, it is uh, used as a source of food. And still at the same case, uh, the fungi are harmful. They can cause diseases. For example, the illustration which has been shown there. So this is an, an example of a fungal infection which has been caused by a fungi. So these people are uh, people who study mycology. They study all kinds of things. And the things that uh, can be done so that we can avoid this kind of like fungal infections. Then the next branch of biology is cytology. This is the study of cells. As we have earlier said that cells, this is the basic unit of life. So under this we study uh, cells, how the cells are uh, uh, subdivided or how the cells reproduce. So we have example of cells here, we have the muscle cells, we have the blood cells, we have the sperm cell, skin cell and the nerve cells. So all these are studied under the branch called cytology. Then an interesting branch of biology here uh, we call paleontology is basically the study of fossils. As you can see, this is a fossil of an animal which lived like uh, so many millions of years ago. So this is a dinosaur. So fossils are, be are basically the remains of organisms which lived some years ago. So by studying these fossils, we know uh, that there, there were some organisms that were present in the environment or in our society some years ago and what are some of the things that these, uh, uh, these organisms did or why did this organism come into extinct. So all this we study under fossils and it's also a combination of biology and history because it helps us to explain or it helps us to understand uh, our past as in there are some things which uh, were in the uh, in the society, which became extinct as a result of some various uh, fa factors. Then the next branch of biology is parasitology. So this is the study of parasites. Uh, we have different types of parasites. For example, we have a tick, we have uh, liver fluke, we have mosquitoes, uh, there are so many. So all these parasites, most of them are harmful to any organisms, not only animals but also to plant. We have an example of a parasite that is very harmful. Uh, it's called a guinea fall, uh, it's called a guinea worm, sorry. So this guinea worm, uh, uh, somebody can get it mainly, it is caused by drinking dirty water. So when you drink dirty water, this worm can uh, come in your body, then it grows. It can grow up to three feet long. Then uh, one bad thing about this guinea fall, there are no, there's no medication that can be used to remove it. So it's just removed manually or physically. Uh, it's very long, it's like three feet long. So, so these are some of the uh, effects of these parasites. They are very harmful. And a guinea worm is a very uh, harmful disease or, or a worm. Uh, it has caused the life of so many, so uh, this is something that we should uh, watch about. So uh, this also is an example of what we study under the class of parasitology. The next branch of biology is, the uh, is pathology. This is basically the study of diseases in 
animals. Uh, we specify only in animals only. So this expertise, they look at diseases, what are some of the things that cause these diseases, and what are some of the things that can be used, or the measures that can be used to curb the or eliminate such kind of diseases. They devise things like the vaccines and such kind of things. So this is what we study under the branch of biology we call pathology. Uh, that has been our lesson for today. And before we end our lesson, I'm going to give you an assignment. And our assignment will be state and explain other branches of biology that have not been discussed. Uh, so we're going to review this assignment and the, at the onset of our next lesson. So thank you for watching and keep it a limu where, we, where you watch and learn. I have been your teacher, Madam Christine Okot. Thank you.